This is Black History Month, and the Mid-Continent Public Library is educating the Metro on the important role African Americans played in the history of America. Emily Brown is Public Relations Coordinator of the Library, and also Bob Kendrick is President of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. And you guys are working together on a project. Tell me how, Emily. That's right. So throughout the month of February, Mid-Continent Public Library branches will be hosting a wide range of programs and performances in honor of Black History Month. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got programs programs for kiddos like our Tales from the Black West program, which is all about um, African American cowboys and cowgirls of the Old West. Um, <laughs> we've also got programs for adults um, like our genealogy programs, which are at our Midwest Genealogy Center. And then, of course, we are working with the Negro Leagues nice. Baseball Museum. Um, they have generously lent us an exhibit oh. that we currently have at our uh, Blue Ridge branch, and um, the exhibit is called They Were All Stars. Yes. It just went up last week, and we're very excited about well, it. Wow, They Were All Stars. Bob, that's your cue. What's it well, about? And, and it's, an, it's a really cool exhibition that we put together. I actually sent you for the 2012 All-Star Game when Kansas City played host to the All-Star Game. Mm -hmm. And so this exhibition takes a look at those Negro League players who transitioned into the major leagues mm. and subsequently became All-Stars. And what we hope that the exhibit does is give baseball fans and history fans an idea and understanding of the immediate impact that the Negro Leagues had on Major League Baseball. Yeah, and so, yeah, this is a, it's a great way to learn about some of those legendary stars that people might not realize came out of the Negro Leagues. The Hank Aarons, the Willie oh, Mazes of the world. Yes. Ernie Banks, Roy Campanella. Oh, These guys became household names in the Major Leagues, but their baseball careers began in the Negro Leagues. Now, this is important for everyone to learn. So we're not right. just talking about young kids, but who are you really hoping comes, Emily, to watch and to see and to yeah. learn? Yeah, I mean, we really hope that everybody will come by, especially mm -hmm. for the exhibit. You know, it's open anytime yeah. when the library is open. Um, and like I said, it's it's at our Blue Ridge location right now until February 15th, but it's actually going to be at um, a total of four Mid-Continent Public Library branches um, until the month of April. And so, um, you know, people can stop by, take mm -hmm. a look, and if they want to learn even more, it's wonderful because the museum yeah. is right in town for them yes. to go learn more. And what's happening at the museum? Well, you know, and that's a great reminder of folks who are going to the library in those various locations that we do have the Negro Leagues Baseball mm -hmm. Museum right here at our disposal yes. to learn more about these legendary athletes. But we're working on a new exhibit that we will unveil later this month oh. that celebrates the women of the Negro League. Oh. It's called wow. Beauty of the Game. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and That's it celebrates great. that profound but little-known role that women played in the Negro Leagues as there were three women who played professionally mm -hmm. in the Negro Leagues with and against the men. And then later on this year, we'll debut an exhibit called Barrier Breakers. We just opened up our press box exhibit that celebrates the role of the black press oh. and how prominent it was in both pushing for the organization of the Negro Leagues and then ultimately pushing for the integration of our game. And, and so, yeah, there are some exciting things that we're doing at the museum. This is an exciting partnership for us because it will move this message out to parts of the community and hopefully it will drive them to see the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. And I hopefully think it, it will drive folks to see it to the library. I, absolutely. The library, the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. Check it out. Thank you yes, both so much for you. coming and for really helping to raise awareness about black history and, and the former stars and current stars yeah. that are really making a difference in our community and our world. Thanks. Yes, thank you.